Minnesota Governor Tim Walz is officially the Democratic vice presidential nominee, but is someone many voters still aren't familiar with, from his service in the National Guard to his time as Governor of Minnesota. Annalise Nielsen takes a closer look at Governor Walz's story. Minnesota Governor Tim Walls has stormed onto the world stage as Vice President Kamala Harris's vice presidential nominee. But if you don't know who he is, you're not alone. Recent surveys reveal as many as 80% of Americans have never heard of him. Tim Walls is a former high school teacher and football coach who went on to serve in Congress and eventually as governor of the cold northern state of Minnesota. He caught the eye of the Harris campaign when he honed in on what's become their key attack line against Donald Trump. Have you ever seen the guy laugh? That seems very weird to me that, a, that an adult can go through six and a half years of being in the public eye. If he has laughed, it's at someone, not with someone. That, that is weird behavior. In the harsh scrutiny of a White House race, the aspiring vice president has had aspects of his personal story questioned. The Walls campaign was forced to change the rank he listed at retirement from the National Guard because he left before completing his service at that rank. Some critics suggest he did that to avoid serving combat in Iraq and have accused him of misrepresenting what he did during his 24 years in the National Guard. We can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are at. Walls has not served in a war, and his campaign has since said he misspoke. He's spoken often about how he and his wife had to turn to in vitro fertilization to conceive their daughter, but his campaign has since had to clarify they went through the less invasive procedure of intrauterine insemination, or IUI. He's also had to clarify details about a drunk driving arrest in 1995 when he ran for Congress in 2006. His campaign said the arrest was a misunderstanding because of his hearing loss from serving in the National Guard. Recent scrutiny of the police report reveals he was driving 154 kilometres per hour in a 90 kilometre per hour zone and a blood alcohol test taken at the local hospital gave a reading of 0.128. Wall's frequent trips to China have also raised some eyebrows. He ran a tour company that took high school students to China, where he traveled to more than 30 times, even returning there for his honeymoon.